Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make an anti-blue light soft focus moisturizer. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so here I have all my phases. Now to start, I'm gonna be adding to my water phase the Burger Care Aqua Lipid, and this is the Melon Grade. Now these are really awesome. They're a water dispersible or water soluble lipid. So you don't need to use any solubilizers to get them into your water face. So the melon is, they're actually a range of um, active oils. So they're protected against um, oxidation. And the melon version helps to hydrate the skin. So they're really nice and emollient. Look how easy that is to go into your formula or into your water phase anyway. Now, next to build my moisturizer, I'm going to be using some xanthan gum. Now, this is the verdescent xanthan. So this is a really, really nice grade of xanthan. Uh, BASF has bought out a whole range of verdescent materials. Um, so this is a nice clear grade of xanthan gum. It's really easy to slurry and it's not as stringy or sticky as a lot of other grades of xanthan gum. So once you have a really nice smooth slurry, just add that into your water phase. And as you can see, a low viscosity gel has started to form there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that one there on heat. Now, while that's heating, I'm gonna to put together my oil phase. So here I have some Ecohance Care PS3. This is a oil in water non-ionic emulsifier from Evonik, and it's very sustainable and 100% natural. It also has a really nice, soft, silky skin feel to it as well. So that's gonna be perfect in our moisturizer. Now I'm going to be adding some Dermafil Sensol for a nice light long spreading effect in my moisturizer. And I'm also going to be adding a bit of avocado oil um, for, you know, marketing story. And it's also really good for dry skin as well. So my next star ingredient is the Alpin Hillmore Extract. So the inky name is Pea Extract and this is by Premium Organics. Now, this is a multifunctional extract. It's got some really good data for anti-pollution, anti-inflammatory, anti-irritant. It's got really good data for aging, even anti-acne. So it's a really multi-beneficial uh, extract to use in your formula. It's also 100% natural as well. So I'm gonna pop this phase on heat as well. Now, one of the reasons why I have added the pea extract in here is for its anti-pollution and pro-aging benefits. I thought that'd be quite beneficial in a anti-blue light moisturizer because, you know, blue light comes from the sun as well, but it also comes from your screen. So if you, if you work in front of a screen all day, like a computer or any other type of screens or monitors, you're actually getting blue light from them as well. So this is going to help with the damages. Uh, that blue light can cause to the skin. So perfect for applying to your face and really perfect to applying to your neck and chest area or any other area that's gonna be exposed to the blue light. Okay, once your water phase is nice and hot, we're gonna add our oil phase straight to it. Give it a quick stir to combine it, and then we're gonna pop it in a beaker and homogenize it. So see how there are a couple of specks there? Um, that's because we need to homogenize it. So I'm gonna quickly pour it into this beaker. And we're gonna homogenize that for a few minutes. Okay, so we are gonna allow that to cool for a little bit before adding in our last phase of ingredients. While that's cooling, I'm gonna talk you through the final cool active ingredient we are gonna be adding in here, which is our anti-blue light active. So this is the Cova Bead Crystal 
from Sentient. So this also has some SPF boosting properties as well, but we are mainly using it for the anti-blue light properties. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in there and then we're gonna homogenize that as well. And then I've also just got a little bit of tocopherol because we have used some natural plant oils there and my preservative. Now, generally with soft focus powders, you do need to use low shear. So I'm just putting this under the propeller mixer now to get that cover bead crystal into my emulsion. And that's what it should look like. And last but not least, we're just going to check and adjust pH. Alrighty, so this is looking quite less low viscosity now, but it will thicken up a bit overnight. So we are just going to cover it and leave it. Right, so this is what it's looking like the next day. As you can see, that's thickened up quite a bit, but it's still a moisturizer viscosity. And it's nice pale gray color, but as you can see, when you rub it in, it doesn't leave any sort of color. That feels absolutely beautiful on the skin. Really emollient and creamy, but also not greasy or heavy as well. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make an anti-blue light soft focus moisturizer. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.